Hi class, welcome to Understanding the Interview with a School Psychologist or Counselor assignment. This video will be short, but it'll help you understand much better uh, what the assignment is, when it's due, how much it's worth, and how to do it. Where do you find the information? For all assignments, for all the major assignments, I should say, in the course, you need to click on Course Materials and then look in the Assignments folder. You probably have already explored the course site and noticed this, but you won't find them in the individual modules. This is a major assignment, and so click there. Once you go into the Assignments folder, you'll see the list of major assignments uh, listed in chronological order, so the first one first. And so at the very top, you'll see the interview with the school counselor or school psychologist assignment. I always put when it's due and how much it's worth of your grade. So let's go into that folder. If you click on that folder, you'll see um, the uh, you'll see the instructions, uh, which I'm going to be going over in this video. You'll see the link to submit, and you're going to also see the link for this video that I've put here as well as in the weekly learning module. So let's take a look at the instructions. Uh, it's not too complicated. This assignment's worth 20% of your grade and it's due October 19th, Tuesday, October 19th. And basically what you need to do is to arrange a 30-minute interview with a school psychologist or school counselor. Um, you can do this through Zoom, over the phone, you can meet in person. You, uh, you may not interview a classroom teacher for this activity. The purpose is to find out what a school psychologist does and what a classroom teacher does is very, very different. Um, they should work with adolescent, not elementary students, and they uh, so because that's your area of certification, adolescent, everybody in this class. So try try not to go to elementary. If you get into a real bind, just shoot me an email and we can talk about it. So what's the purpose of this assignment? Well, if you're already teaching, you know this, but if you are not teaching, uh, you may not, though, that you'll be working closely with school counselors and school psychologists once you get a, your own classroom. And so it's important to have an understanding of what it is they do. So during uh, your interview, you're going to take lots of notes. And um, I've sort of given you the outline here, so or things that you need to include. So the date and time of your interview uh, the school that you did this at, the grade levels covered, the name and the title of the interviewee, and the setting. Did you do it over Zoom? Did you do it in their office, etc.? Um, when you write your paper, you're going to include that information, and you're going to also include an introduction. Uh, be sure to get a list of their credentials, their degree, for example, and a list of their previous experiences. Where else have they worked, for example? Find out how they deal with families, how often they communicate with families, and what do they do with families. Find out how they work with specific students. You don't have to include the names of the students, but uh, they'll tell you, okay, I, I administer these tests, or I help with behavior management. They might deal, help the teachers deal with learning issues or social skills. Um, how they interact with teachers. In other words, do they go into classrooms and observe? Are they more of a consultant? How do they support teachers and teachers' roles? How do they collaborate with other professionals? So there might be a school psychologist and a guidance counselor. How do they interact? How do they interact with administrators? What are some of their views on medication? Uh, their personal views as well as their professional views. What do they think about inclusion? And that means including special education classroom students in regular classrooms. What are their views on changes in their school based on recent legislation and technology advances? I'd be particularly interested in hearing their views on remote learning as we've all gone through that for over a year now. And um, finally, a reflection and a conclusion. Now, the important thing to realize here is that a reflection is very different than a conclusion, and you need both. A reflection is, what did you learn from this assignment? What surprised you? 
What will you take into your current classroom? And in conclusion, is just a summarizing of what you did and what you found. So um, type that all up and present it as a narrative. So you're not going to answer questions. You're going to write as if, if it were a story of your interview. I went in, I interviewed Mrs. So-and-so at this school. She's previously taught at that. That's a narrative. You can see the rubric in the folder of how this will be graded. And basically, there are four things I'll be looking at. Did you describe the context of the interview completely? Uh, did, you, did you cover all the items I asked you to cover? You can look at that list that we just went over. Did you write an adequate reflection, thinking about what you learned? And what were your writing and APA mechanics like? Any questions, please feel free to email me. Now at the end, you're going to submit this to the link in the assignments folder that I showed you. Uh, this assignment may be revised and resubmitted for a higher grade. If you want to do that, just uh, revise it. Keep the comments in place. Keep everything in place, all the rubric and everything, and resubmit it using the same link that you used the first time. That's it, and good luck, everybody, and um, let's continue, and hopefully, if you have any questions, you'll email me.